everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. It is Tuesday, the 9th of July, and thank you as always for joining me on my weigh in results. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Stephanie, and I'm on a maintained journey food optimizing following Slim World at home. Yes, indeedy. Right, my week. It's not been too bad. Yeah, not been too bad. I've done my best. That's all I can do, isn't it? That's all we can do. All we can all do our best, you know. You know, no one has to be a hundred percent, you know, just do your best and keep moving forward. So yes, and then everything goes smoothly then, doesn't it? It does, Stephanie. Thank you very much. Yes, it does. Indeedy it does. So my food. Not been too bad, yeah, all good, all good. I've not tried nothing new, no, nothing new, nothing new, no, no. If there's anything new out there, just just, just throw it at me. Not literally though, because I bruise easily. But let me know in the comments below if you've got any low sin or sin-free meals that you want me to try, then I'll give them a go, yeah. So yeah, it's nice to try something new, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, with my steps, not been too bad, not been too bad, but before I continue, you know what's going to happen, don't you? Yes, we do, Stephanie. You want a drink, don't you? Yes, I do, because I feel, feel a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, <laughs> a little bit croaky. Oh, get my words out. That didn't sound good. Heard a bang in the kitchen. Hey ho. Kimmy's doing some arts and crafts at the moment. She's making a hammer. Yeah, <clears throat> don't ask. And at the moment, Ian's having a little granddad nap. So uh, yeah, he's got a feed plugged in and he's having a lay down, so a lie down, lay down, lie down. So I've got the monitor on just in case, you know, anything happens, I can hear him, I can just go to him. So yeah, so anyway, should we carry on? Let's do this. So you didn't want all that, did you? <laughs> no, we didn't, Stephanie. Okay, but this is real life, people. This is real life. So with my steps, I will go back to last Tuesday, the 2nd of July, <clears throat> excuse me, I did 3,886, Wednesday the 3rd of July, I did 2,934, Thursday the 4th of July, 12,525, Friday the 5th of July, 7,773, <clears throat> Saturday the 6th of July, I did 15,186. Sunday the 7th of July, I did 5,871. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yesterday, Monday the 8th of July, I did 18,343. And so far today, I've done 2,762. Let's have a look. Come on. 2,762. Reason why is Ian had a shower earlier <clears throat> and I got him ready and then I had a shower. So I've uh, got my, my nice Alice in Wonderland top on, as you can see. There she is. Good old Alice. Upside down. Got my leggings on and Kimmy plaited my hair for me. So yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting another croak. I do apologise. <coughs> I woke up this morning with a really croaky voice. I've got a bit of a sore lip as well, so I've got some lip balm on that. <clears throat> I think it's change of weather. You know, every time the weather changes, I don't know, you just, you feel a bit, eh. So, yeah. Or is it just me? Anyway, <clears throat> moving on, moving on. So, food diary time. We're doing well, aren't we? <laughs> so, last Tuesday, the 2nd of July, it was chillaxed, as you know. <clears throat> Wednesday, the 3rd of July, I, it ended up as a chillax. I don't, I don't know, I just felt a bit, uh, you know, just felt, yeah, one of them days. Thursday, the 4th of July, I ended on three sins. Friday, the 5th of July, ended on 14 sins. <clears throat> Saturday, we celebrated Zachariah's birthday. Zachariah is our grandson. He turned two on the 7th of July, which was Sunday, just gone. But we went down... We drove down to Dunstable to meet the family at Whipsnade Zoo to celebrate his pre-birthday. So when we got there, um, 
I tell you, the heavens just opened, it just wouldn't stop raining, it was just on and off and it was cold and damp. So we got there, we pulled, we went into the entrance, there was a disabled space right in front of us, we, we parked there. Um, I got Ian's scooter out, um, put the, to open the boot, took the ramp down, got Ian's scooter out and got Ian out, put his coat on, <clears throat> got to the chimpanzees and then the bison and Ian wanted to get back to the car because he was cold and shivering and he wasn't feeling too good. So it was, just, it was just horrible. The weather was absolutely awful. If the weather was much better, then he would have gone round the zoo more with us. Anyway, so I got him back to the car and I said to him, I said, I'm going to find Ian and Rani and explain what's happening. And he goes, that's fine, that's fine. So as long as he was in the car, that's all that matters. He said, looking back now, he should have sat on in the driver's seat. So that way then he could have had the heating on. So, um, and the radio on, but hey ho. Anyway, I said it wouldn't be long. And he said, that's fine, it's okay. He, said, he turned around and said, be quiet. <laughs> anyway, went down uh, to work towards the toilets because obviously, long journey, you have to have a toilet break, don't you? So, went to the toilet, come out of there, and luckily, I saw Zach and Emily. Now, Zach is Ian's best mate. They've been best friends since they were four years old. He's like my adopted son. Anyway, I saw him and his fiancee Emily and their daughter Florence, and then behind them was Ian and Rania and the family. So I explained the situation, they were like, oh no, I said, yeah, no, it's just not right, you know, you don't want to be going out in this weather, it's just not good, because if Ian gets a cold, he's down with it with weeks, that you know, for a few weeks, and then he's on his, um, his rescue meds then. Anyway, had a walk around with them. We ended up going to the aquarium and the butterfly centre, and there was a butterfly that crawled onto my hand. I took some photos, well, Rani took some photos for me and I took a video of two big beautiful butterflies and then I was holding Zachary's hand and we were looking at the fish and then we looked at the elephants and we saw some camels. Then we headed back to, um, then the heavens opened again because it's on and off. But it's that fine rain that gets you wet, but this time it was a big downpour. So we headed back to the calf, the entrance bit, <clears throat> and um, I went back to the car with Ian and Zach and Zachariah. And uh, they said hello and everything. And I said, um, I said to him, I said, what do you want to do? And he goes, I want to get home now. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I went back to the cafeteria and I said to him, I said, we've got to go back now. I said, because um, Ian's not, he's just tired. He just wants to get home now. So, and, but Rania made sure, well, her auntie made sure that I didn't go back with anything, you know, without any food. So they did me a little, um, a little pack up um little pack lunch box with a few sandwiches so I can have them on the way home. So when we left, stopped at the service station, had a few of the sandwiches, and then we got home and myself and Kemri we had a kebab <clears throat> and a few little treats. But I was back on it Monday. Not Monday, I was back on it Sunday, sorry. So yeah, so Saturday the 6th of July was chilled. Um but yeah it was it was I mean on the way back, the, the sun started shining and it stopped raining. Typical, isn't it? Typical. But hey ho, he enjoyed himself. He enjoyed the puddles. He had his little penguin rain suit on, and we got him some welly, um, some yellow Wellington boots from Clark, so to complete the outfit. And every puddle he saw, Zachariah had to jump in it. I did take a video of it, so yeah. So, but he's so cute. He really is. So yeah. But I was back on plan on Sunday, the seventh of July, which was sin free. Um, Monday the 8th of July was sin free and here we are today. Now for, e for Zachary Ian, <laughs> for Zachary's birthday present, we've got him a lovely moon pig card and we've got him a BMW electric car. <laughs> he can't reach the pedals just yet, but he'll grow into it, won't he? He'll grow into it. At first he was a bit scared because it's a big car and everything, but um, they video called me on Sunday on his actual birthday because they took him to the cinema to see Inside Out 2. Now I know you were thinking, a two year old at the cinema, a bit young, but he likes all the colours, you know, of all the emotions. And he sat right through it, no problem. No messing, no uh, misbehaviour or anything. He just sat there watching it. So yeah, so. So they video called me when they got back and he sat in his little car. Oh, he looked so cute, he really did. And he had a massive big bag of Quavers because they run out of digestive biscuits because he loves his chocolate digestive biscuits. Anyway, so yeah, so it was lovely, it was nice. If the weather was better, like I said, Ian would have gone round more with us. So yeah, so, but yeah. Anyway, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is, good old British weather. And at the moment, it's really dreary. It's, it's only just stopped raining now, so yeah, so, but. Forecast for the rest of the week. Yay, rain. 
where has summer gone, hey? Where has it gone to? Anyway, so, and here we are today, the 9th of July, and it's another chillax day. So, <clears throat> sorry if that was a bit long-winded, but you know, real life, like I said, real life. So how did I get on? How did I get on? How did you get on, Stephanie? I don't, shall I tell you? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. So, last Tuesday, the 2nd of July, I stepped on the scales and I had a maintain. Yes, I was on the maintain train and it left me on nine stone, 12 pound. <clears throat> I stepped on the scales today and I had a gain tain. Now, if you don't know what a gain tain is, that's my notepad. If you don't know what a gain tain is, a gain tain is not actually a gain because it's still within my maintain. So within my target. So I had a gain tain of two pound. So, oh, sort it out, that's it. Whew. So this is week 337. I now weigh 10 stone and altogether I've lost six stone, nine pound. I'm okay with that. I am okay. Cause I said to Ian, I said, I've had a gain tain of two. He goes, yeah, but you're still within your target. And 10 stone is bang on my target. So I am pleased with that. And I have written in the book, excuse the, um, the pen. I had to like go over it a few times. So it was, so it's the 9th of July, week 337, 10 stone, two pound gain, gain tain, sorry. Altogether I've lost six stone, nine pound. So yeah, so, um, but I'm happy with that. I'm bang on my target. I keep going dark, don't you? <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, plans for this week. Um, Kemi's got an appointment on Thursday with a dietitian. I did say to you that she's a little underweight, so she needs to put weight on. So that's Thursday. I think it's at 11 o'clock. And then Ian's blood tests came back the other week. Um, everything's fine except for his bone one. So they want him to redo that blood test. So he's booked in on Friday. And I think it's... I think it's at half one, so, um, but yeah, so yeah, that's it. And for the rest of the week, I'm just going to do my best. So yeah, so, oh, with my miles for the week, do apologise for not mentioning it. Slacking, I really am slacking. For the week, from the Sunday to the Monday, no, the Monday to the Sunday, I did 24.5 miles. But hey-ho, you just got to do your best, didn't you? Oh, I've got your nose now. Oh. So yeah, it's a week of my drinky poos. I've made it stronger this time. Oh, I see him. He's breathing. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good sign. Yay. <laughs> Bless him. <clears throat> like I said, I've got a baby monitor down there. So then I can just, um, if anything happens, I can just go straight to him. But yeah, that's it. That is it. No other plans. I'm hoping the weather starts cheering up a bit. It should do on Friday. That's why I've booked Ian in for his blood test. So yeah, so even if it's overcast, we might take the car. See what happens anyway. So, or we might walk there. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the temperature's like. If not, we'll just, we'll just go by car and we'll just put his scooter in. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah, that's it really. Yeah. So yeah, 10 stone, bang on target. So I'm happy with that. I am. I'm happy with that. So yeah, so like I said before, once you reach target, it's more of a challenge to maintain your target weight around your target weight because you're allowed three pound above and three pound below your target. Sometimes I've come out of my range of target below target, like gone below 911, but that's fine. You know, that's fine. So yeah, either way, I'm happy. I am. I'm happy, chappy, chappy, chappy. Yes, indeedy. Anyway, <clears throat> let me know how you got on yourselves this week. Whatever journey you are following, whatever works best for you, if it's working, that's brilliant. Just keep moving forward. Do your best. Take each day as it comes. Less pressure. And you will get there. Trust me. Trust in me <laughs> anyway i'm gonna love you and leave you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed subscribe it's free to do so 
hit that notification bell, ping, for more upcoming videos. And as always, keep smiling, stay positive and take care and I will see you soon. Bye for now.